I am going to walk you through something really exciting. That is how to make your very own successful DEX arbitrage trading bots that buys one token in one decentralized exchange and sell it in another decentralized exchange for profit. I guarantee you that this is the kind of video that you need to be successful in developing a decentralized arbitrage trading bot. There are varieties of videos that is available online, but this video is going to be different and I'm going to walk you through the reason why this video is going to be different and it's going to be what you need to develop a successful dex arbitrage trading bot if this type of video interests you please do well to subscribe to this channel like this video and let me know in the comment section if you've tried to make an arbitrage trading bot before i'm going to walk you through the code step by step so if you are not a developer you can use the time stamp to skip the video and navigate to the section in which you just have to run the code but if you enjoy going through the code line by line with me then feel free to stay till the end of the video so without further delay let's dive in before we dive in i want to remind you that the contents of this video is for educational and informational purposes only it doesn't constitute financial advice investment advice or trading advice Imagine two decentralized exchanges like Uniswap V2 and SushiSwap V3 with the same pair as WETH unit token. Look at the prices. You can see that the prices are slightly the same prices. What do you think is the reason why the prices are the same? Put it in the comment section. This is where it becomes interesting. If there is any swap in this liquidity pool like in this Uniswap V2, the price is going to change. Like if you check out the prices, you can see that the prices has a slightly little difference. So if you check here, this one is 761 and this one is 750. The reason why the price might not definitely be the same is because of the fact that swaps are happening in these two liquidity pools. Whenever a swap happens in Uniswap V2, the price of Uniswap V2 is going to change compared to this price of SushiSwap V3. The same thing is applicable to SushiSwap V3. Based on the price impact of that swap, if you are interested to learn more on how a swap can impact the price of a token in one decentralized exchange, making it to be different from another decentralized exchange, you can do well to watch this video, how to buy a coin before it pumps. There's going to be a tag of this video in your screen right now and in the description of this video so you can definitely go ahead and copy the contract address or the pool address of weth unit token and put it into a list and be scanning for potential arbitrage or listening to swap events that will probably make the price to change but the challenge is that there are a lot of tokens that people are swapping every single minute in the blockchain. Going ahead and making a list of uh, pairs like WETH unit token and monitoring an arbitrage opportunity or maybe price difference within that list of token does not make sense because it's just like 1% of the overall market. If you list a token in Uniswap V2, for example, and as time goes, you list that your same token in SushiSwap V3, you are going to surprise to find out that the price are going to be unified every single day. But the question is, how is it that the token that you listed on your own are able to unify the price just on its own? It is also going to surprise you that what unifies the prices of different tokens in different decentralized exchanges are arbitrage bots but the question is how is it that a single arbitrage bot is able to unify the price of different cryptocurrencies in different decentralized exchange by just buying in this decentralized exchange and selling in another decentralized exchange when there is a great price impact that move the price and causing the price to depart from another decentralized exchange that is exactly what I am going to show you and that is the most important thing and the reason why this video is different when it comes to creating an arbitrage bot because you need to create an arbitrage bot that is able to scan the whole blockchain to find out which token to arbitrage rather than just monitoring one single pair like WETH Uni and so on. 
now i want you to open your base .org because this project is going to be on the base blockchain if you get to blockchain dropout and then click on view blocks once it opens you are going to see on this page you can see the block in which is just added to the blockchain like in the case of this one this block number that ends with 425 that was added four seconds ago and it has 109 transactions in it now click on it to open that block and click on these transactions so i'm going to click on this now you can see in this block that was added four seconds ago which might definitely be more than four seconds by now you can see a lot of transactions that is happening in this block now if you go ahead you are going to see a lot of smart contract interaction and this data is public so anyone including you and me can assess this data so since swap impacts the price of a specific token in one decentralized exchange what we are going to do is that we are going to search for a swap transaction like in the case of this one this one is transfer transaction and this is a swap transaction so if i click on this swap exact for example now this is a swap transaction that occurs so just uh, uh, less than 000 eth okay let's go and find another swap transaction navigate to this one and see it's no one swapping approve swap okay navigate to this one so we can see a swap of 581 wrap eth to uh, baby monkey token now this is the kind information or the kind action that impacts the price of for example baby monkey token i know nothing about baby monkey token so i am just opening it as a public data on this for the sake of this tutorial video so since we are able to catch a swap or see a swap that is added to the block we want to write a code that automatically check for each block that is being added to a blockchain and scanning all the transaction as new block is added and finding a swap transaction that would definitely impact the price from that pool and causing the price to be different in another pool so how we are going to do that is going to be from this lock so if you click on this lock you are going to see for example transfer deposit lock which is the smart contract events and here you can see swap so we are going to listen to this swap event whenever a new block is added to the blockchain. So let's dive in and see how we can do that through code.